Hello friend, yes, I'm back in my living room. So as you know by the title, I am about to move this living room around. I am ready for a new look. As you know, I'm redecorating my whole house. I wanna just freshen things up. So last video, if you missed it, I did a DIY on those urns. I turned them into a couple vases. I thought they were beautiful. And then here I have plans on this wall. Whenever the decor comes in, I'll do that. And then I redid that vase right there, black. It used to be teal. If you missed the video, I'll have it linked down below in the description box so you can go and check it out because I really enjoy the new updates. So today, y'all, I'm working on the living room. I wanna rearrange my uh, living room, give this living room a new makeover because it is just, I'm just bored with it, you know? I'm, I'm the type that I love to move things around and change things up. My living room has been like this for a while now. So I've, there's only two way that I've always had it. Either the couch against that wall and the TV against that wall or the setup like this. So my husband doesn't really like the couch against the window, but I'm going to move my couch there. I'm going to give it a try and see how it's going to look. I want to switch things up. I want to, you know, take things away if I don't need them. Just you know, kind of give it a This is a different of what look. the living room looks like before we get started. Just so you can see. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Jessie and I do mobile home living. And here on my channel, you'll find tons of homemaking and cleaning motivation. I do lots of makeovers, decorating DIYs. So if those are things that interest you, I would love for you to consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family. I would love to have you here with me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on this mobile home makeover and just transform my living room. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong so this fireplace, y'all, was really heavy. I was trying my best to not drop the TV. And I was trying to scoot it over because I was moving the couch on that side of the wall. And I wanted to make sure it wasn't in the way and I had plenty of room. Now, I don't know if the fireplace is really going to look good when it's not centered um, on that wall. But I'm going to go ahead and move everything and give it a try and see because stuff like that will bug me, but I'm gonna go ahead and see how it looks. So moving the couch, I did have it in the middle, like right between um, the curtains and the shelf, and it just did not look good. So I realized it needs to either go in front of the window or underneath the shelf for it to look okay. So I decided to go ahead and move it right in front of the window. So I was really skeptical, not sure how this is going to look, but I'm gonna go ahead and trust the process. I'm just taking a picture frames down that I no longer want in that spot. Like I said, I am doing a makeover and I'm just transforming my mobile home, y'all. And I'm just kind of redecorating. I'm just tired of the old and just want to do something different and give it a good refresh. So yeah, y'all. Um, comment below. I know I've had a few of y'all comment and say that y'all are doing the same thing. Comment below. Let me know. Um, how often do you do this? Now, is this something that you do all the time? Maybe once a year, um, once every six months, maybe once every few years? Comment below and let me know. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Since I was moving the living room around, I decided to go ahead and change rugs and see how I like it better. And it is full of the snow from my Christmas tree. It just stuck to it. And y'all, my vacuum went out. So my cordless vacuum is gone. My husband did order me a vacuum that I've been wanting. Um, I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but it has a great review so far. And I just really love the style and it was super cheap. I decided to go ahead and give that a try. So yeah, um, I decided I'm no longer going to be getting the cordless vacuums. I'm just going to stick to regular vacuums, y'all. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and move this chair. I've moved it like so many different ways trying to figure out how I wanted it. 
and I feel like my furniture is still not complete. I do want to get a um, recliner to add to the living room. I feel like that would make it complete, either a recliner or a love seat. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for that. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. So I realized that this rug is just a little too small. I'm going to go ahead and put the other one back. Now the other one is going to need a really, really good cleaning. So I will be cleaning it soon, but I'm going to go ahead and lay it out now and see how it's going to look because I think the other one is just a little bit too small. Now if this one doesn't work, um, I don't know. I do eventually want to get one that's a different color the same size as this one I feel like it's bigger and it's you know it'll look better with all the furniture but I do want a different color one this one does have like the teal and the gray in there and I'm just doing away with that color so um, I don't want the rug anymore but right now I'll just go ahead and use it since it's bigger and um, eventually I'll switch it out whenever I find the perfect rug open it just took some time now i just hope that you stay for a little while you fix what's broken when you make that smile so just stay
Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love or fight This or that This or that Evening's on the trail Catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or So y'all, I really like this home sign when I first got it, but I just see so many people having it and it's just, I'm seeing it everywhere. So I just wanted to switch it up and just do something a little different. And I have this gorgeous piece right here that I'm just going to go ahead and put up because I think I'd rather see that than the home sign anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the home sign and put up this gorgeous piece. And I cannot wait until I get in the decorations for above the bench. It's going to be so beautiful. Hopefully it comes out the way that I am wanting it to. So we shall see. But I have something up my sleeve. I cannot wait. It's going to be a little while until the stuff comes in. But I will be doing a makeover on that wall too. And I cannot wait. Also, I'm still not finished. There's still a lot of more pieces that need to come in for the living room as well. So I can finish it. But this is what it looked like before y'all. Keep in mind, this is what the living room looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love the way it looks. I definitely do need to get a recliner um, or a love seat and get rid of that chair, but it looks so good. It just feels so cozy. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I cannot wait to get the other pieces in and the decorations so I can finish it. I'm getting new covers for the couch as well. Definitely comment below and let me know your thoughts on this mobile home makeover. Let me know how I did. I am loving all of the changes, y'all. It's, it's different than what I've usually done, but I think it just, it's all coming together very, very nicely. Um... Yeah, so I still have, like I said, some more pieces to come. As I get the others in, I will show you the rest. 
rest. But thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.